Buying your first home is exciting, nerve-wracking, but for me, it was also very emotional. Hey, this is Leo and welcome to the Sal Museum. As I record this video for you, I'm in my office slash music room and I can't believe that nearly three years ago, we moved into my first home. I bought my first home here in Melbourne nearly three years ago. Actually, it was a bit of a journey up until that point. Late 2020, I think about December, I decided to sell my family home in Auckland. It had been a really emotional few years for me. I lost my dad in 2013. I then lost my mum in 2018. I had no plans to live back in Auckland again. So in late 2020, I decided to sell my place in Auckland. Fast forward to late January, my place in Auckland was on the market. And just a few weeks later, in mid-February, it went to auction. And the result just totally blew my mind. Uh, I was quite emotional because the auction was supposed to be live on site. But because of COVID in Auckland, on that day, there were restrictions. So the auction had to be online. So I was really nervous watching the results here in Melbourne while the auction was happening in Auckland. So understandably, that day I was really nervous. I was really emotional because I was selling my family home, the place I grew up. I've got such fond memories of that time with my parents. Also, my grandparents used to live there before my parents lived there. So it was in the family a very long time. So for me, it was a really emotional day, but also the right decision. In early January as well, my fiance Sean and I started looking for places in different parts of Melbourne. And the day that we came across this place was that day we had about 10 homes to visit in one day. So going online and checking out when the times are to go and see the property and trying to organise, okay, we're going to be at this home this time and this home this time. It was a bit of a military operation that I remember that day because we spent the most time in this place. We looked around the room several times, the backyard, and everything just seemed really right. It seemed a really good vibe. So we put in an offer and it was quickly accepted. The settlement day was going to be mid-March and I was so excited because I would pick up the keys on my birthday, April 20th. Such an amazing day, and this is where my fiancé filmed this video. So, join me for a guided tour of our house. Day one, and got the keys. So, why don't you follow me, and we'll get this party started. Okay. Works. This is the front door, like this. Now, apparently, no, it the other way. Now, take the key out. Um, so welcome to our new home. It's a bit dark because there's no power on, but now there's power. <laughs> now there's light in here. So this is the entrance hall. So she's coming in here. Oh, some lovely flowers for us from the vendors, which is beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. Um, I was queuing for your flowers. Um, all the cards in here. Okay. So, the card 
This is from the vendors, from the owners. Um, happy birthday. Love. <gasps> They're from you. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, love, Sean. Oh, thank you, babe. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect that. I had the agents put them in Oh, you're so sneaky. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to check if the lights are on. But, yeah, so stay tuned for our tour of the house. Thank you, babe. So lovely. What a surprise. You're very sneaky. Anyway, um, this is from the agent that we bought the place off. So I'm going to open it. How am I going to do this? I'm just going to... Oh, this is a nice card. To Sean and Leo, wishing you all the best. Kind regards to the Alliance family. Congratulations on purchasing your new property and wishing Leo a very happy birthday. Aww. Thank you. So I'm going to take this off, if I can. If I... Right, and let's just turn this around here. You can open this. Oh, this is really cool. I'm going to put it down here because it's got a glass in it. So there is, oh, a bottle of booze, which Sean can't drink, so which means all the more for me. And there's a couple of glasses here. Beautiful, some chockies. And there is more chocolates. And there's a little fruit cake. How quaint. Very nice. Anything else in here? Oh, there's a little um, platter thing. Beautiful. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you very much. So, anyway, I'll show you around the place. Shall we go to the main bedroom first? This is the main bedroom. Da -da. This is, yeah, this is the main bedroom. And so as you can see here, I love this. I didn't notice until just now, but I love this archway here. It's really nice. So, yeah, this is our bedroom. And it's got ceiling fan, which is good for summertime, but we've got air conditioning as well. So this is, I'll show you the walk-in closet. This is walk-in wardrobe. It's quite massive, actually. So if you come in here, there is, all this is all hanging stuff, which is plenty of space. And this is a shoe rack. And some coats things here, heaps of space, loving this, so that is the walk-in wardrobe, and in here is our ensuite, so towels, him and him, shower, tut, his and his basin, needs to be put on, his and his basin, um, heaps of storage and stuff, heaps of mirrors, heater, which this thing turns on, nice and warm in winter time. And um, yeah, loving the ensuite. And let's show you, let's show you the study. So this is the study. This is going to be Sean's office. So. The lovely vendors actually left this desk for us. It's a bit old school. This thing comes out. I actually remember having one of these when I first moved to Melbourne in 2000. Something like this. But anyway, it's free. Um, yeah, so this is the study. This is Sean's office. And it's at the front of the house. So this is windows here. Um, security is really good. So yeah, this is Sean's office. And let's take you 
to the garage. This is the entrance way of the garage into the hallway. And this is the garage. Sean's car, heaps of room. There's air conditioning in here, which is really bizarre. So there's the NBN connection, the shelving, the shelving over here as well. Yeah, so nice big double garage, which is great. And also in there, there is an entrance to the garden as well, which I will show you later. So anyway, this is the, da, 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 the family room. Um, let's go to the next room in the house. This is the family room. <laughs> and what we love about this is these little holes here. We can put stuff. It's really cool when they light up. Um, so this is a family room. And this... Oh, the cable. This is the cable for the sound. So if you're playing Spotify or the best surround sound, it comes through the speakers, which are there. There's one there. I'll show you the other one. And this leads out to this little entrance way. <laughs> this is a little... Um, Outdoor area, little wee nooky, nooky. Well, this is the outdoor. It's called the piano. Yes. So this is going to be for uh, um, just some chairs and stuff, have a few drinks. And it's quite nice. Garage, right? This is the garage here. So you go in here, it's a garage. Yeah. So that is the outdoor area. And let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Da -da. And this is a new oven. It's a whisking house. And it's an air fryer oven as well. Microwave can go here. Um, this is going to be replaced. This is quite an old hob. So we're going to replace this with a new one. But yes, some lovely space up here. We're going to replace this as well. Um, but yeah, lovely bent, lovely drawers in here and cupboards. Fridge, little wee space here for some wine and stuff, perhaps. So this is the prep area, sink, which we're going to probably replace as well. Um, this is a new dishwasher which we probably won't replace because it's new. Um, but yeah, this is it. Oh, also, this is, this is the best part, is the storage. This is going to be the pantry. Check this out. So all the bottles and stuff and, and pet stuff down here and heaps of stuff in the storage, this pantry. So I'm looking forward to filling this bitch up. Um... And this is the TV room. So again, love these little be holes in the wall here with the little lights, which we can put stuff, which is really cool. The lovely van door is left off this painting, which is beautiful. Um, and this is a little heater, fireplace. Uh, the TV is going to go here, probably. And behind you, what behind here is, um, this is obviously the kitchen here, but this is a really cool display unit, which we're going to put lovely um, glasses and Sean collects teapots and stuff. So we're going to put that in here as well. Um, and this area is the dining room. So we've got a dining room table. It's going to fit here just nicely. So yeah, this is a really cool space as well. It comes out onto the 
looked up to there and to the garden. Um, let's show you the bedrooms. So, this is going to be my office. Oh! <laughs> so this is my office. Um, this is the second bedroom. Um, heaps of space. I'm probably going to put my desk here. And um, again, heaps of storage, double doors. Um, we're going to put, we're going to utilize the space more and put different drawers and stuff in here. But yeah, heaps of room in here for storage, which is quite fantastic. Um, so yeah, loving this room. And this is going to be, well, this is the bathroom. So nice bath in here, which is beautiful. Um, vanity here, shower, heater again, there's a shower here, so yeah, heaps of, um, heaps of space. And this here is the um, linen cupboard, maybe, so yeah, heaps of space for towels and sheets and stuff. And here, so more storage, that's one thing that I, when we first came into the place and first saw their first inspection was the storage was really impressive and here is the toilet it is here the phone and this is the laundry so again I'm going to be doing up this space because it's quite old and yucky not old but it's not that bad it's functional it's functional you close the door I'll close the door on that um, but this is a, the laundry, and they've left us some cupboards here, which is really cool. And there's heaps of space in there as well. And I'll just show you briefly down here. This is the side of the house. It's raining though, so there's this side. And there's this side down here. There's a little shed at the back there as well. So we're going to close this because it's raining. Close that. I'll work on it. And this is the third bedroom. This is, the lighting here isn't the greatest, so um, we're going to put new lights in here. But this is going to be our guest room. So just really good size room. Um, again, heaps of storage space. Look at that. Fan. So yeah, this is a really nice space for our guests that come here to see us. So, that is it. So let's move outside. I'm going to, it's raining, so it's not the ideal time to do it, but this is the entertaining area with our spa pool, as you can see. <laughs> so it's got some jets in here, and we can't wait to fill this baby up and, and just relax in here. It's going to be great. Um, but this is a great entertaining area. Sean's going to build a barbecue here. We're going to replace this plastic with um, a, a wall barbecue area. It's going to be here. Um, but yeah. So let's just take it briefly outside. It's, it's raining. Well, we'll just look outside. We'll look outside. So this here is the little garden here. And. Is it? Okay. So we'll just take you to the, the side. So this is our door area. But um, that's it. Um, that's our new place. Our, our, our place. Um, yeah, we've got the keys today and we officially move in on Friday. And yeah, can't wait. So thank you for watching. Love you, babe. Oh, such amazing memories watching that back again. April 20th, on my birthday, picking up the keys and this empty house. Now, being a big music fan, at the top of my wish list for the house was to have my own home office and music room. And this is where I'm recording this video from. So, join me for another video where I take you through my music room. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video.
make sure you like and subscribe and until next time take care